Hiya, uh, guys, I just want to test the horn, give it a quick test. Now, my batteries haven't been used for a year, so they were pretty flat. Hooked them up to my 12 volt, 24 volt charger. These are excess power 12 volt batteries. These are 20 amp hour cells. Now, they do need a stiff recharge. As you can see, they've seen some heavy duty use and they were used for car audio. The voltage dropped and the current draw on them increased. That's what happens when voltage drops. It tries to compensate by trying to give more current, which produces excess heat, which is obviously a fire hazard. It's not good. Sorry about the mess, guys, but there's the compressor. There's the horn. The horn is about half a meter long, about 50-odd centimeters. It's made out of some sort of metal. Feels like some sort of cheap-grade metal. I mean, it was a very cheap horn. I bought two of them for about, I think it was about 60 or 70 quid. Now, I'm hoping this will be loud. This is going to be fitted on that scooter over there. So let's just give it a quick test. So I've not got a relay. Sorry about my hand shaking. Let's switch hands. Not got a relay or a fuse, but as it's not going to be hooked up to anything else, it will be an in independent power supply solely for this. So it won't be shared with any other appliance anyway without further ado let's give it a whirl wow that nearly made me jump out my skin let's do another one wow so i'm going to be fitting two of these no excuse for people not being able to hear me or see me now you can get louder horns you can spend more money, but that involves getting a, a dedicated compressor, not one of these mini ones, a bigger compressor, an air tank, which costs a lot of money. And it's not what I want to do for the scooter. This is nice and compact-ish. It's still going to be very large. I'm going to put one on each side of the scooter. So that's the test to just see if the horn is working. So watch out for the... Uh, fitment video to be coming soon thanks for watching